certified most accurate. Now, your first one five forecast with MidMichigan's only live radar. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman. All right, a very good Tuesday evening, everyone. Fairly quiet early February day for us out there today with varying amounts of cloud coverage or filtered sunshine, depending on exactly where you were. Now, you do see over my shoulder here on the first Warren 5 pinpoint Doppler radar tonight, as you see live from MBS, that there are some attempted, what I'll call them, snow showers rolling their way through the region tonight. I say attempted because we have a stout layer of dry air sitting in place from roughly the surface to about two to 3,000 feet above the surface here. So while the these uh, snow showers are very much beginning to develop and fall out of the clouds. The air is so dry that most of these snowflakes are essentially falling apart before they reach the ground. Most of these are more elevated is my point. They will continue to march east. So while I won't completely rule out you seeing maybe a flake or two this evening, it's nothing of real substance, although that dry air will come into play when it comes to our next snowmaker, as I'll uh, elaborate on here in just a moment. In the meantime, though, over the Mount Pleasant area tonight, we saw there those snow showers moving overhead, at least according to the radar. But you can see again, none of that actually reaching the ground, so it is dry. Current temp at 32 degrees, feeling more like 24 though. Northwesterly breeze at about nine miles per hour, and those winds will largely hold that speed and heading as we move into the overnight period before then backing off a bit as we head into tomorrow. Now, on the big picture, first one five sky tracker, the cloud coverage today mostly associated with this elongated frontal boundary that's spanning anywhere from northeast Pennsylvania all the way into the deep south. You can see a lot of moisture running up along that frontal boundary, in addition to several smaller areas of low pressure. The good news for us is that we could have seen more impacts out of that system had it not been for this pocket of high pressure that's emerging into the northern plains. Now it is leading to more sunshine in that area, but it's also helping to deflect more of this inclement weather off toward the south and east of us. And that high will gain a little bit of footing first thing tomorrow morning before then this area of low pressure way back to the south and west over parts of New Mexico sweeps in across Texas tomorrow, grabs moisture out of the Gulf. I know we say that time and time again, and then takes a track into the Ohio Valley as it intensifies as we head into late tomorrow and on into Thursday. How does that impact us? Well, here it is on the hour by hour forecast. As far as this evening's weather is concerned, we're just looking at mostly cloudy skies. Like I said, maybe an isolated flurry as some of that activity rolls on through, but I expect the vast majority of that will not reach the ground. We stay under generally cloudy skies from midnight on into first thing tomorrow morning. But then as we wake up around sunrise and into mid morning, we'll actually carve out a little pocket of sunshine here on the front end of the day, thanks to high pressure, but it goes right back out the window by lunchtime at 1 p.m. Mostly cloudy skies quickly take back over. They will continue on into the five o'clock hour, but we will stay dry for the daytime period tomorrow. It'll be after midnight and especially on into Thursday morning after midnight tomorrow and on into Thursday morning where we start to see some snow backing in from that system to the south and west of us, and that'll continue in a scattered fashion at times. It looks like into Thursday. So where initially this storm looked like it was going to be a bit more impressive, the dry air that will still be in place at the onset of this system will cut back on some of that initial snow reaching the ground. So we're really splitting hairs here on expected totals. Less than an inch for folks north and west of the bay. One to two inches around the Tri-Cities, Alma, Thumb, and all of the uh, I-69 corridor. And then locally up to three inches possible in some of those areas if we get some heavier bursts of snow. 19, your overnight low for tonight. Mostly cloudy skies and some clearing developing late. Back to increasing clouds. 29 the high for tomorrow. Snow continues at times on Thursday, also with a high of 29. But looking good for the uh, start of the weekend, David and Meg. Staying in the 20s, but with some sunshine.